Okay, we're talking another cold day in the Southland, but can we expect more of these conditions? I think we know someone who might have some of those answers for us. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it over to Olga Spina with some of those details. Hi, Olga. Hi, you guys. Yes, and you know what? I'll tell you right off the bat, we are tracking a storm to our north. It is bringing some rain and snow to northern California, and I'll show you the future cast. We're looking at some cool temperatures, though, on this uh, Saturday and uh, some uh, partially gray skies. There's a look at numbers. We have 40s. We have 50s. Uh, we're in the upper 20s uh, in Big Bear. Really conditions across the mountains, a ton of snow. So it's not snowing here locally, but still really difficult conditions because they still need to clear all that snow out to be able to get around town. Here's a look at our satellite radar. So some cloudy skies. We've seen some peaks of sunshine, but yes, uh, we have this area of low pressure impacting Northern California. That's going to make its way south. And I'm going to show you our future tracker and show you that we could get a few light scattered showers, really nothing of a whole lot of impact, nothing like these storms we've had in the past. We could even see some snow flurries as well. So mostly that's going to remain in the higher elevations. And then as we head into late Sunday, Monday, we're looking at some dry conditions with partly cloudy skies. So not a huge impact from that storm, uh, at least as far as precipitation, but we are feeling those cool temperatures. We're seeing that cloud cover and we're also getting some of those gusty winds. In fact, uh, we have some uh, wind advisories in place. This continues through tomorrow night across uh, places like the Antelope Valley, mountains of San Bernardino County, gusts in that 40, 50, even 60 mile per hour range as we continue into your Sunday. And tomorrow morning, it is going to be another cold start to your day. Temperatures in the 40s for most of us, upper 30s through the Antelope Valley, low 20s in the mountains. And here's a look at highs tomorrow. We're going to continue below average with most of us not even getting out of the 50s. So we had a couple of days Thursday, Friday. A lot of us got into the 60s, and now that cool down once again because Northern California continues getting some rain. So here's a look at that future cast. You can see all that wet weather to our north. The Sierra Nevada once again still getting more snow, adding to those totals. For us, though, really not heading as far south as Southern California, so not expecting a whole lot of impacts, at least as far as wet weather. But then as we head into late Friday, Potentially, we'll keep watching this for you. It's still a week out, but we could be talking about a little bit of rain as we head into late in the week. For now, though, we're going to keep those temperatures on the cooler side, uh, below average, really, for the entire week. Numbers in the 50s, at least through the middle of the week, and then uh, low 60s by Thursday, Friday, but those are still below average numbers. For the LA area, we should be at 69. For the Valley, still in the 50s, continuing into the low to mid 60s as we head into the new work week for the Inland Empire, a pretty similar trend and across coastal areas. Again, not ruling out the chance of some light scattered showers early tomorrow. Windy for the high desert. If you're in the Antelope Valley, you're certainly going to be feeling potentially even some blowing dust, mountain areas, cloudy skies, cool conditions and overnight lows by Tuesday, Wednesday down into the teens. So it is going to be chilly this upcoming week. Back to you guys. CBS 2 is now CBS Los Angeles. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.